Hello, it's Ken from Pine Finders. We've just had another delivery of furniture, mostly from Eastern Europe. So I thought I'd record a video to show you everything that's just arrived. Obviously, we will be putting everything on the website as usual in due course. We'll be taking videos and pictures and dimensions. We'll put the um, prices on for everything individually on the website. But this way, you can get to see everything that's just arrived. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you the piece of furniture and then quickly show you the label so you can see the price and the code and then I'll flip it over so you can see the dimensions. So I did it really quickly so, you can, so we can get through everything. First of all, a nice old larder cupboard with drawers and one door. It's got shelves in as well and that was the label I just showed you. So that's the code at the top, that's the price in the middle and those are the dimensions. Next to that, we've got a nice big wardrobe. This wardrobe dismantles. Origin all this stuff was originally painted and this, a lot of the stuff is still in the bare wood. If it's in the bare wood, you will have two prices. The first price you can buy it as it is. The second price will be when it's all done up and waxed, if you'd like us to do that with, for you. If it's a wardrobe, that'll include the fitting of the hanging rail. And those are the dimensions. The second dimension, Second depth dimension there, 19 and a half inches. That's the internal depth, so that's deep enough for hanging, so that one's okay. And this wardrobe totally dismantles. Next to that, we've got a six drawer chest of drawers. This was on the last delivery, but I haven't put it on the website yet, so I thought I'd show it here quickly. That's the buy it now as it is, and that's the um, when it's all restored. And this, this needs a lot of work, this one, so that's why the, there's a big difference in price. And there are the dimensions. Next to that, we've got a large, partly glazed dresser. This is French. And the base separates, the top separates from the base for delivery, which makes that nice and easy. And those are the dimensions, very tall one, as you can see. And next to that, we have a lovely old wardrobe, another wardrobe. This has got drawers at the bottom. And again, this one totally dismantles, so it'll go up any stairway. Really nice, solid one this is. There's the dimensions, and you can see that's very deep inside, so that's lots of hanging space. Next to that, a glazed top, large glazed top, top cupboard with sliding doors. So that's sliding doors on the top and on the base. And I think there's, let me just open this up. Yeah, there's, there's a single shelf inside in the base as well, as you can see. There's the code and the prices, and there's the dimensions. Then we have a small wardrobe. This is a one-piece wardrobe. It doesn't dismantle. If this is going upstairs, then make sure you check the dimensions properly going upstairs. It's got a drawer at the bottom, and those French-style hinges, which means the doors open almost fully, so you can see that opens wide, which is handy. They've got the original pegs in at the top, if you can see that, but I can fit a hanging rail for you. There's the prices and the code number and dimensions again. Again, nice and deep, so that's good for hanging. We'll come around the corner. We've got a lovely old desk. This is a one-piece desk. It doesn't dismantle. So again, check dimensions if it's going inside. Code number and prices. Oh, no dimensions on the back, sorry. Just let me know if you want the dimensions. I can measure that for you. And if we can see it properly, there's a very large linen press. So this is three drawers below, as you can see. And then a lovely big cupboard at the top. This is empty inside at the moment. So we can put some shelves in there if you'd like shelves. It's got two little cute drawers there on either side as well, which is quite sweet. You can see that it's a bit dark with that door shut, with the door open. Code number and prices. And those are the dimensions. Then we have a lovely old bow-fronted dresser. You can see the number of drawers on the base and glazed top. And if I come around here, you can see it's slightly, slightly shaped at the front. P8359F, price 877. And the top separates from the base for delivery. 
as you would expect. Here's a bookcase with two cupboard doors below. This has been made recently. Three shelves in the top. That's the price. We're going to re re-wax for you. Re sorry, re-wax this for you. It needs a little bit of work. 327 it'll be when it's done. And I haven't got the dimensions again. So again, just let me know if you need the dimensions. Lovely big chest of drawers, an old chest of drawers. It's the code number. You could buy this, it's, pretty, it's in pretty good condition actually, but I've got two prices on so that you can buy it now for 450, 497 if you want to get if you want us to give it a once over another wax finish, but it's pretty good condition as it is. And there's the dimensions. Now we've got another linen press here. With two drawers. That's just the trolley underneath. Just I was moving it around. That's uh, a lovely one. The top separates from the base for delivery, as you find most of these do. And there's the dimensions. Lovely chest of drawers. We can't see that very well now. Is that a bit better? I think. Very nice, neat and tidy chest of drawers. Quite a large one. I should have shut that door, sorry. The lighting is not very good with the door open. Yeah, it's quite a tall, slender cupboard. It's got a drawer at the bottom. Glazed top and shelves inside. Then we've got a wardrobe. I think this is a, yes, this one totally dismantles this little wardrobe. So this will go up any stairway. So it totally dismantles. Sixteen inch internal, so it's fine for a children's wardrobe. Probably a bit shallow for a, a normal wardrobe. You wouldn't be able to hang a lot of things in there. Maybe, maybe coat. Um, sorry, maybe shirts and things. But it's only a sixteen inch internal. So watch that. Just um, be aware of that. This is another small wardrobe that dismantles. So again, this will go up any stairway. This is 17 and a half inch internal depth. So that's getting better. That's, you know, you're gonna hang most shirts and things in that one, maybe not coats, but most shirts, you're gonna be okay. So you, yeah, so just, again, just, just check with the wardrobe you're using currently, just to check that 17 and a half inch internal. And then next to that, we've got a one piece wardrobe. So this doesn't dismantle. There's a number of shelves, adjustable shelves inside. I haven't fitted them yet because there are one, two, three, four adjustable shelves to go inside. You can see the adjusters on the side there. So you, go, you can move them around wherever you'd like. This is a one piece one, it doesn't dismantle. The internal depth of 15 and a half, so it probably wouldn't be deep enough for hanging anyway. And it's got a drawer at the bottom. Then we've got a partly glazed cupboard, larder cupboard. And I believe this is the one that has the, yes. So inside the base, you've got four drawers on the left-hand side there. So these, these are big, deep drawers for them. So that's a very handy storage cupboard. It's got the original vents on. It was originally a larder cupboard because of the vents. So yeah, it's a very interesting cupboard. That is, it's nice. This doesn't dismantle, this is a one piece one. So if it's going upstairs, again, just be careful. A pair of bedside cupboards, the drawer at the top and a cupboard below. And yeah. And another pair of bedside cupboards next to it. And the dimensions on the back the dimensions there's a small ish chest of drawers three drawers lovely little one this is let me come around here so you might be able to get a better look at it very sweet little thing and then a very small cupboard on top <laughs> And it has 
a shelf inside. I think this has been made relatively recently. I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, I don't think this is an old one. Then we've got a, what is this? A, York, is it a Yorkshire chiffonier type thing. It's English, old English one. Lovely little drawers on the top. Very attractive piece this is. And then a beautiful little linen press. This is so sweet, this little thing. What's that? It's only um, five foot high. Really sweet little English again. has two shelves in the top, original shelves. Yeah, really sweet. I love this piece, this is really nice. Yeah, so this is Victorian. Um, then there's a tall, slimish, one door cupboard, oh, so, well, wardrobe really, yeah with the drawer, drawer at the bottom. This does dismantle, so this will go up any stairway. There's also a, that's been made more recently, a shelf that could go along there and it has this drawer that slides in underneath. So you have the shelf where you'd like and the drawer comes underneath, so you could have that if you'd like. And there are actually three, shel three shelves. But, so this piece totally dismantles. Um, I'll show you the price first, there you go, there's the price. But then the internal depth is 18 inches, so you could have hanging in there. So that would be okay for shirts and most things. Maybe not the biggest of coats, but 18 inches is, is okay for most things. Then we've got a dresser, an old pine dresser. The base has two drawers, the top glazed. The top separates from the base for delivery. So the price and there's the dimensions. Then an old school cupboard. Old English school cupboard, which has one, two, three, four, five shelves inside. You can see there it has two doors, obviously, but I've just shown you that. Nice old English school cupboard or a church cupboard, I think. I think it's from a school. Oh, that's a bit dark, isn't it? That's a little bit better. What's that? 275 as it is, 327 if you'd like it waxed for you. And the dimensions, if you can't see that, there's 54 high, 36 wide, and 14 deep. Right, now we come to a lovely old chair. This is, is that an elm, an elm seat? This will be nicer when I've taken some nicer photographs, you'll be able to see this better in the proper lighting. The dimensions that's the seat height the 17 and a half is the seat height the 43 is the height right at the back then there's a bench a new bench has been painted recently um, very sweet little hanging cupboard there glazed hanging cupboard and another Irish, this is an Irish hanging cupboard this has got a cracked piece of glass in the pane you can't really see that this is the right hand Glass is cracked, so I'm going to have to replace that. This is just to come in. The dimensions. Very nice, attractive column chest of drawers, four drawers. You can see it's got the columns on either side, if you can see that. So this is German, I think. An old English drop leaf table, just with one drop leaf, so it's like a side table and it's got a drawer at the end. This needs a bit of work, but you could buy it as it is if you like doing things up yourself, 140 or 197 when it's all done, and those are the dimensions. A marble top cupboard or dresser base. Well, it's a washstand, isn't it, obviously? It's 
somebody asked me the other day if the um, marble's old. I think, I'm not sure, I think it's about 50 million years old. Then there's a chest of drawers, but it's a kind of a desk secretaire. What would you call this? Secretaire, I suppose. That slides in. So that's the way it starts off. So you've got, looks like a chest of drawers. And then the top opens up like that. And then this all slides out. So you can use that as a desk. So that's quite nifty. And you've got little drawers inside. There's an old pine mule chest. So this is a box, flat top box. It has little drawers there inside and the candle box and also it has a drawer right at the bottom so these two are obviously fake and then you've got the proper drawer at the bottom lovely old mule chest And last, but definitely not least, a Victorian pine table with a drawer at both ends, I believe. Let me just scan the top. This needs a little bit of cleaning up. So we can clean the top up, make that look a little bit nicer. Yeah, drawer at the other end as well. Lovely turned legs, totally original this is. So yeah, I would suggest coming to see this first um, and see what you think of the top, but I can do whatever you like, whatever you'd like me to do really. Sort of clean it all up, scrub it with white spirit and give it a good seal and wax or whatever you like. We can talk about that. Let's go and find the price ticket and stuff. So 450 as it is. I've put 597. That's sort of if I did the whole works, you know, did did everything to it and all waxed up and everything but we can we can talk about what you'd like me to do and then we can talk about price height 30 the leg room th uh, 23 so that's 23 inch leg room for floor to underside of where your knee room is where your knees go the length of the table 74 width 35 if you wanted we could put some little things on the bottom of the legs just to pump it sort of bump it up another inch that would make 24 inch leg room obviously so just give you a little bit more leg room but it, de it would depend on what chairs you're going to use so again that's something we can talk about and that might be a clearer shot of the top and i think that's everything so yeah if there's every anything you're interested in or you want inform more information about then just let me know and i can hopefully give you that and um Obviously, we'll be working on photographs and videos and getting all this on the website as soon as possible. It's probably going to take us a couple of weeks at least because we're pretty busy at the moment, but we'll get through it. And as I say, anything you might be interested in, I can give you a, some more pictures, some more detailed pictures, um, maybe a better video. We can do a live video now, a live broadcast. So while I'm speaking to you on the phone, I can actually sort of go around a piece of furniture like this while I'm on the phone to you so we can do that through Facebook don't worry if you're not a member of Facebook you haven't got an account I've got a guest account you can use with just login details so you can use that um, yeah so that's that's everything I think and I hope you find something you like and I hope we see you soon <laughs>